got to do a little a little more weekday streaming because I have company coming this weekend. So no streaming this weekend. Uh, so first up, I drew this Oni for the Angry GM on Twitter. Uh, now he gave me a suggestion for a traditional Japanese color scheme. Uh, blue skin, and then he also suggested some more muted Japanese brushwork kind of colors. Um, but of course, if you know me, muted colors and gen just, it's not a thing. So for the stream, I'm going to show it with bright colors, and then I'm going to make a special version for him with the colors uh, softened to what he was talking about. So we're still going to have the crazy colors. Can't resist. All right. First things first, I'm going to show you my video of actually drawing this fella. Now, I use this uh, free pose program that uh, is pretty handy for artists because you can, you can make this 3D model be in whatever pose you want. I like using that as a starting point, as you can see. I'm in the sort of very tattered Hakama pants because Japan. I liked the uh, cloak in the monster manual, so I had to draw that. Uh, so, here we are. Let's see. First things first. <sighs> Check something. I'm just making sure I tweeted it on Twitter. Sorry. Okay. Great. So, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, I've got to pop out my Twitch chat. I am a terrible streamer. One second. Pop it out, put it up here, now I can see you lovely people. Okay. Now, if you say anything in chat, I should actually see it. Imagine. Imagine the novelty. All right, now I can paint this fella. So, let's see. I want to make the, I don't need the no-fly zone. Uh, the sketch is already gone. Um, these token rings, I'm going to make full, full, full strength, but, um, pixel scapes, I'll put it up here for now, and then, uh, then I can make the token rings go away. All right. A blue skin, huh? All right. So blue things first. Body colors. Okay, let's sample all layers. And get his incredibly buffness. Incredible buffness. Gratuitously buff even. His face, okay, that got everything. Probably, oops. I'll leave his horns for now. Leg. Too big of a selection? I think it is. Okay, great. Uh, blue, huh? Get it. And then, uh, let's see, dark blue, huh? Well, then maybe I'll do my shading with black. Well, normally I would do my shading with another thing, but I'm going to use black. Well, no, I'm going to do it the way I normally would. That should... Let's see here. A little lighter blue. Okay.
smaller diameter blue to fix. All right, and then I guess I should put a little highlighting on it, but not really. That is abs. Um, it doesn't really make sense, but I kind of like it look the way it looks there. I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Uh, oh, and his face. How about his nose? Where's his jaw? Okay. He's a blue. Uh, now let's see. Bicep here. Okay, and his toes are blue, or lighter. Okay, uh, or, okay. now I'm really done. So, now I can move my pixel scapes to his feet. And uh, let's get his pants. Now, Kama traditionally, at least in the martial arts I've seen, are either black or incredibly dark blue, and then they fade. So if you meet a guy with faded pants, you better look out, because that means he knows what he's doing. So, oh, oh, oh. Because he's got holes in his pants, I've got to make sure I color some of them to match his skin. So let me get those. And I'm not going to put any shading there. Because, because, okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to make the Hakama lines black. But of course, I can always add separate color to that later. Uh, how are we going to make this outfit? Purple? Right there? Purple. Yeah, that works. Um, first I gotta select. Oh, that that's actually that's actually part of his body there. Let me, let me make that blue. That's that's meant to be like sort of his abdominal side lines, not quite the iliac curve, but they're, they're coming down on either side. So okay, now I can color the hawk. Select all the bits. Select, select, select. I select it. And da -da. Is that everything? Yes, and I gotta remember there's that little hole there that I'm gonna have to make cape colored later. Alright. And what did I say? Purplish? Oh, darn it. Okay.
Okay. Now I'm gonna do a little custom coloring on this knot group. Hey, Charlie. Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. I appreciate you coming by. And yes, he's got the abs to, to end nations. And then I'll get the uh, rest of this. And I don't want to go too crazy pink. I think I just want to. Just so there's a little variety to it. <laughs> face me. She, that's his line. Face me and my abs to end nations. Yes, exactly. Well, I appreciate you coming by. It's always nice to have people in my stream. Mainly, I'm just recording these for myself, but I always figured, you know, I might as well. I might as well make it on Earth by actually sharing it with people while it happens. Cloak color will be okay. Hmm. Hmm. What color was the... I gotta look. The Oni in the Monster Manual, I think it had white hair. I have to go look. Yeah, it had white hair. Oh, and purple pants. I must have subconsciously gone with the purple. Okay. I'm gonna keep the hair white. Uh, let me, let me change the hair lines. To not be red. Ooh, okay. Gray. Oh. Uh, and then the cape. I'm gonna make the lines black for now. And then I'm gonna. Oops. And then I'm gonna uh cape lines. Oh. In toner. Okay. Um. Where was my cloak color? Okay. Now I've got to select all these little bitsies. What's the lore around these guys? She asks. Well, let me go look. I mean, I know they're they're Japanese themed demons. Oh, you didn't see that on screen. Let me go get it over here. Oni. Let's find out. They're also known as ogre mages. There it is. There's nursery rhymes. They're fearsome boogeymen that haunt the nightmares of children. And uh, they hide their form with magic during the day. They're shape changers. So they can look like regular people. And then it figures out how to abduct and devour a certain number of the people that it encounters. And they often have innate magical ability. They sound like bad news. 
All right. Well, hopefully he'll look like bad news by the time I'm done with him. So let's get this cloak. Cloak. And there are so many holes. Oh my goodness. I got to get that little hole. This one. These. Wood. So many pieces. And I see it goes through his hair. Oh, I forgot to color the poor guy's neck. I will do that. Okay. And here. And oh. Okay. Edit fill. And then cloak shading. Well, with gold. Or do I? Um, I'll use gold on the outside. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay. So this needs to be red. And then his hair, I'm going to go ahead and color. Yeah, I, I'm Okay, and because I keep forgetting it, let me do it. Bad thing to forget. And it fell. And I'll do a loop. Okay. Now, back to the little red riding hood cloak. He says, I really enjoy your palette. I had no idea, but psychedelic D&D is totally my aesthetic now. It, it's mine too, definitely. And that shambling mound, yes, he was so popular with his flowers especially. The best bouquet ever. All right, load. And then I'm gonna unload the. Oh, wait, that's a terrible idea. No, I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. 
And I gotta select all my fiddly bits here. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Okay. Um. Cloak shading. So this is outer shading. I'm using some extra layers here because that'll make it easier for me if I'm going to do the color variant for angry. I'd like to do. Yeah, I like it, but it's a little too much. I'm gonna delete some summer, but summers. <laughs> That's the word now. I swear. Don't want it to be quite so mustardy. I just want it to be like red side. And then the inside cloak inner shading will be um, magenta, which will be, um, you know, just dark on the other version. All right, uh, let's, no, that's too expanded. All right, now, inner shading. I need my magenta. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll just paint it. Just to front, uh, and then I'm going to delete it from there, so that it still looks red. Just so there's clearly two layers. I, I think that's enough, honestly. <sighs> How about his little horns? kind of like him white, because then it goes with his, uh, with his, uh, And they're white and much anyway. Ah, okay. So let's get his uh, hair and face color. Select all these areas. I think I did already, but just in case. Oh, on this side. Okay, but his eyes, I mean, he's a baby eating demon. They've really kind of got to be red, don't you think? Straight up red. Okay. And now I've used up a whole lot of colors, so we better hope that I can uh, figure out what I'm doing with background color on this buddy. It's, this is pretty rough. Oh, uh, let's see. And uh, green is the obvious one for the outside. Of course, I haven't done any brush strokes yet. Oh, I probably should do that. Uh, 
Yeah, but I let me let me get the base colors down first. Uh Okay. Outer ring color. Inner ring color. Okay. Let's see. A hundred, maybe, and then I'll make it Why is it making it yellow? I mean brown didn't go past yellow, okay, there we go, all right, and then the inner ring color. Will be, I mean, I've used every color. Can't use light blue, dark blue, can't use purple. I don't want to go too orange. Yellow. It's a little monotonous, but I've used a lot of colors on him. So kind of have to. All right. Um and then that needs my I need my brush strokes. Now is there any other texture I want to use in this? Do I want to use the texture on the cloak? I have any I just look at my texture. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. Just trying to work out bedtime for my chillins. He says, I love his cloak. I would wear a dress in those shades. Wouldn't it be nice? And it has to be totally like billowing at all times, just like this is. I, I would definitely go for that. That sounds great. <laughs> oh, wait. Um... You know what? I think I want to make the inside of the cloak be more purplish at the top. So I'm going to do that thing, but I can't do it without doing my redoing my selection. Okay. Now I'm going to do a great.
Oh, I see what happened. Okay. It'll work. Okay. I think the purple looks a little more shadowy, even though it kind of blends with the muscles. All right. It's ostensibly red. Okay. Now let me get back my, my token rings. So, all right. And now I need my brush strokes. I don't want to go too crazy. I'm just going to do 30. And, uh, and where's this body color? And let's see, is there any other color? Just his eyes. I'm not changing that. Oh, right, the uh, the actual background. And now I can change pixel escapes to map. Whoops, not that way though. Select. This is this. that texture addition technique was cool. Yes, yes, it's my favorite thing to do. Almost my favorite. I like the the brush strokes, and I also like adding um, iridescence when that makes sense. And the other question: Have you thought about doing people's PCs in your style? You know, I sure have. Um, I have not set up the commission information for that yet, but honestly, I kind of want to figure out like what my average time is to draw and then color. And then I'll have a better sense of how I want to price that. I'm thinking maybe 50 bucks. I mean, I know it's a lot for something people see as like a simple cartoon, but it does take me a lot of time. Render fibers. Well, that's horrible. Uh, I mean, it's cool, but... Let me do it in a different way. Fibers. Okay. This will make sense, I swear. Um, zoom out a little. Port this.
I'm just trying this for giggles. We'll see how well it does or doesn't. Um, now what do I want to do with them? I guess for now I'll just fill. And then I'm gonna... Okay, and now I can use this as... to make a backup of my cloak coat. Now I'm going to try. Do you see how now these fibers are all their own weird? It has little texture now that reflects the gradient. Makes it look a little rougher and dirtier. Regarding commissions, I think that's reasonable. For a full design and color, it's an average amount of commission. The work is unique. And love the texture. Really? You haven't seen it before? You you haven't seen my stream much. I can like add leaves to things. It's it's ridiculous. You wanna see what it looks like when I add leaves just real quick. Okay, so there's my circle, right? Whoops. And there's the colors on the circle, right? So let's see, leaves, feathers, dragon scales. What well, sounds fun? The leaves. Everybody's cute. So here's my leaves. I've already separated them out. Okay, so there's my transparent leaves. Yeah, and then I select transparency. And then I'm going to view hide extras because I don't want to see all the marching ants. And then I'm going to go in hue saturation and then I can just change the hue. And it makes leaves come up. Or I can go the other way. If I go too far, it gets muddy. But uh, I found that this works. Anyway, you get the idea. I do this all the freaking time. Okay. So I think he's done. Oh, wait, wait. I've got to make sure. So there's the white background. Yeah. And then with black. No! I still have the leaf selection selected. Okay, let me undo that. View extras. No, view that. Yeah, select none. Thank you. <laughs> you select. I'm going to learn those shortcuts someday, I swear. Okay, yeah, because I want to make sure that there's no accidentally colored areas. Okay, now you notice how when it's black, the lines don't show, like the sharpness of his claws doesn't really show. You can't see the edge of the token. And I want it to show, so I'm going to do some selecting, and I do a certain amount of line color changing uh, because I'm fussy. So a comma line colors. And 
this I'm going to make blue. Very blue. On both ends. Er, sort of. It doesn't show well. Um... I'm going to do it just in the middle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> HPG is here and punning. These are looking nice, but this is only the first one. <laughs> You're the only person, who, only person who can make puns like that. He's a punning demon, I tell you. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, hair, I kind of like the hair just being that gray. Uh, face, hair, face color, cape lines. That would be fun to do. Okay. Cape lines. Cape line color. Okay. Uh, well, this has, obviously has to be red because his cape is, that's theoretically what it is. So I'm going to do that. Do the thing. Put it mainly where it helps differentiate it from the background or from his skin. I'll do it all. Yeah. And then his skin, his body lines, that is. Body lines. Shake, 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 sit on a shake your body line. Okay, okay. Body line color. So he's mostly blues. I think I'll make his claws and, um, Just the tips of his claws. The, uh, his ear. And his horns. Be blue. So that they stand out from the, uh, black. Onesies. Not quite that much. Ear. Okay. Hmm. I don't like it on his jaw. But otherwise it works for me. And last but not least, the actual border of the token rings. Select outer ring transparency. Um ring line colors. Now this is very, very green. And it's actually greener than I usually um I could do blue, but he's already blue. Um This green's okay. I'll make it partial transparency, so not pure green, because that would really blend. Um, I'm going to put it down here. Okay. I like it. Okay, uh, so I think he's done. Okay, and uh, that's the end of him. I am going to do the color variants, but I'll, I'll do that offline. The more natural color variants that I promised for um, the Angry GM. Huzzah! Yes, so uh, let me save it. 
And then what's next? Ah, Wise Papa Grant requested a bugbear. But not just any bugbear. It's supposed to look like Matt Colville. So that is what I attempted. Uh, let me let me go get it. And then I'll actually repeat that, that little shtick that I just said. Part of the video. Okay. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So here is my bugbear token that I drew for Wise Papa Grant on Twitter. And he specifically requested that it had to look like Matt Colville. So I, I got a picture of Matt Colville. I tried to draw him. I like the hair. Uh, bugbears, of course, are eyebrow-tastic. So is he. So it was a perfect fit. Uh, get the beard. Had to have the, the teeth. And then the rest is just super buff bugbear with, like, bristling armpit hair. Because that's important, I think. So, uh... <laughs> All right, I'm getting laughs from the chat room. I think it worked. So, uh, here is my Matt Colville bugbear. Here's the drawing process. So I drew his face first, as I noted, noted. So here's his face. But I wanted to add a little black separate because then it, it'll be important for coloring later. Then the gratuitous spiked club. I decided to go with the breastplate, which I then fixed the collar on later. You'll see that. Lots of fur. Then I realized I needed bristling chest hair after I fixed the collar. So then I added more chest hair, fuzzy ears, even more chest hair. Just all the chest hair. Vitally important. So here he is. Okay, let's get the, get the sketch out of there. And for now, I'm taking the token rings out of there also. Uh, you notice that the club goes right through the hand. I will deal with that later. Oh, no, I need these token rings. Um, I will deal with that later. And um, let's see. Uh, first things first. Let me move my pixel scapes out of the way. Of course, I got the idea for the banner from Devin Rue. Uh, because then it's like sort of a built-in branding slash watermark. So, okay, there's the fur, the armor, buckle, pants, fur lines. Okay. Um, and then the eyes and teeth. The head, which I think I'm just going to make part of the fur lines because it's all fur, right? Okay. And then the spikes. A weapon okay I've got everything so now I want to do um, body color and they are very orange in the monster manual so or at least brown so I'm gonna make him like red with shades of orange that's what I'm going for so for now I'm gonna make the weapon invisible because I want to be able to get his hand And then there's his arm, his bristling chest hair, his other arm, his delightful hair. Uh, and let me go in here so I can actually select face. Well, hair. I'm gonna do eyebrows and face separate because I want them to be clearly distinguished from the rest. So I'm not gonna bigger. Okay. So that's gonna I'm gonna fill this with red. Edit fill with red. Yellow is my gonna be painting color. Hmm. One of these days I'll get less lazy and I'll put up brushes that day. Uh, da -da. Okay. Uh, 
muscle and know the muscle and know the muscle and his beard yeah i'm gonna have to cover that separately um but i will at least add Yeah, it definitely is going to need some, some custom paint. Okay. Uh, let's get... Well, let's get the face block. Ooh, and I forgot a piece of his hair. Here he is. Matt Colville, the bug bear. I'm going to tweet this to him when it's done. When it's posting day, rather. And uh, we will see <laughs> the 70s chest rug confirmed. You've seen that beard. Come on. All right. I'm going to um, get this. Uh... And then maybe some. Okay. And then, um, I want to get his, uh, neck fur clearly different from his beard have to hide the fur for a minute turn the fur and then add some color to it just a little And then I'm also going to select some other section of air to give a little more stripiness. And I think I'm going to add and stuff too. So that'll be okay. So first things first, I've got to fix this. Uh, this piece of fur that has no no color in it. That's not what I wanted though. Oh, I, I was trying to select a color. Why is it not? Select the damn color. Thank you. And then I'm going to fill it in. No! No, not on that layer. This layer, thank you. Okay, here we go. Now, in glorious Technicolor. I can add a little wave. Oh, yeah. And then a little. There we go. That works. Okay. <laughs> I need eyebrows. This, these eyebrows are vitally important. Point. Glorious Centauri elbows, eyebrows. Okay, um, I'm gonna make them red. This elbow. Just a little though. Okay. Uh, and then that. Pop more. Okay. 
Why is that? Did I put on the wrong layer? Oh, I see what I'm doing. It'll work. Just. And I'll select these other hair parts. Well. Okay, so I wanted a little more yellow. Not on that layer. Okay, to make his eyebrows pop. And. This. More toward red. Different from the rest. Which means I'm going to make. Okay. I think that's enough loving attention to that glorious hair. So, um, and I say that because my husband has very similar hair. So I'm allowed to say that. Okay. Uh, let's look at the rest of this fella. He is furry. But is he furry enough? That's a question that we need to consider. Uh, where is my fur? There's some fur. I like that fur. I bet you like it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fur. Make this extra fur-tastic. Now I could do the fibers again like I did on the other one, but uh, I think this will work fine. And you notice I'm using the change in fur direction to match his arm. <laughs> okay. And you can't see anything because just ants marching everywhere. So I'm going to do view extras away. Okay. Now let's see how this works with the body color. I'm going to change the hue. Ooh. There we go. And then I'm going to move it back. Oh, uh, it's so hairy. I love it. Uh, let me, let me, I still want it to be kind of orange though. That's, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Just hair. Okay. So now we've got a weapon. I'm going to put behind the body color. So see, now he's holding it. Isn't that convenient? Um, and then the spikes. I've got the spikes, the weapon, and the armor. I think I want to work on some some uh, metal because metal's fun, frankly. Um, let's let's get that. Where's the armor? Armor lines. Armor, metal, colors. Okay. Uh, let me get the... Oops. Get it all selected. Means I gotta zoom in on the glorious chest hair. Here it is. Okay. That's rough. It's definitely a rough. Okay. Go with black. So ominous and dark, but it won't stay that way. Uh, now I'm going to use my precious filter. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see. Okay. Uh, slip. Hmm. I don't really want 
I want it to have some color. I'm going to use gold, and then I can change it to not be gold. So I'm going to do Pops a little more, yeah. And then um, I think it's okay if it's smooth. I'm going to click OK. And then it'll take forever to calculate. Calculating, calculating, calculating. It's a very sad thing. Ripper! But when it comes back, it'll have my nice filter on it. Yeah, come on. It'll return automatically. Otherwise, please switch to the program to enhance your photo and click OK to return OK to return to Photoshop. But if it's closed, press Escape to close this message, which is the worst dialog box I've ever seen. Uh, but what it really means is wait. That's it. Just wait. Still waiting. So much waiting. Endless. Oh my god, it's taking... taking longer than usual. Tell me it didn't crash. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's taking longer than usual. Maybe it's not. Maybe I didn't do something right. God, what's... Clicked OK. I clicked okay. There's an hourglass right in there. Eh. That means wait. Hourglass means wait. Uh. Wait. Did it not work? Why did it not work? I I hit okay. Crashing. Oh, not responding. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to close the program. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try this again. <sighs> I thought there was something wrong. Okay, let's see if it works. There's the terrible dialog box again. It's gonna tell me this whole thing about switching back and forth, and I could click OK or I can hit escape. Hopefully it'll just work. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna use Photoshop filter. Or maybe I'll actually paint. Call me crazy. I hope it works. I don't think it's working. I hit OK. Don't don't tell me I didn't hit OK. Crashing. Crashing, isn't it? Oh god. Okay.
I'm going to close Photoshop and close Dreamweaver. And then I'm going to hope that when it comes back, it has magically healed. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Okay. I'll give it one more try. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to do something else. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, let me kill two birds with one stone here. Um, I also want... to get the um the other metal parts in here although probably going to be still crashing but or I might have to have a different degree of detail but if I could do them all at once that would be awfully convenient let's try it one more time and maybe I'll pick a different gold Maybe that one gold is just me. Uh, I like the other gold better, though. and where the light yeah I like what if I use something else what if I use like green come on Polish. Yeah, okay. I'm clicking OK. And just in case switching back to Photoshop too soon was the problem, I'm also not doing that. 
Instead, I will look at the ch Twitch chat. Hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hope it works. Hmm. It's still blinking. I'm obviously not restarting the computer. Pretty sure I could have drawn metal in this time. Pretty sad, but it's not working. Yeah, I can't keep struggling with this. Okay, I'm done. Done, done, done. Ugh. All right, uh, if you use emboss, isn't there chrome somewhere in here? Or there's some chrome somewhere. It doesn't have to be good chrome. I'm all about the terrible chrome. I am so sad that this didn't work. I'm going to pick a different filter. I, I can't resist. I really, I just, I want to do it one more time. But. Just want to have my whole my whole point of adding all this metal was that I wanted it to look a certain way. It doesn't work. I'm super sad. Tried yet another filter. We'll see if it works. Not working yet. Not a good sign at all. Okay. 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 I give up. I really give up. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not responding. Okay, um... I'll try again after reboot later after the stream because I'm so sad that this is not behaving. And I did really want it. Super duper really wanted it. Um, but but no, no, heaven forbid. Okay. Oh, I see, that's not gonna work. Well, it'll be okay. I will um All right. Uh
I mean, I guess it'll work for now. It it gets the idea across. I'm I'm still gonna work on it again later, though, because I'm super exasperated. Okay. Um. And then that means his belt buckle for now. Yeah, I'm just leaving the metal alone. I'll I'll do the rest of it. Okay. Um, pants. We need pants. Let's make his pants. Well, first he needs a belt. Belt and pants color. Actually, I'm just gonna. Okay. Um. Well, that's the belt. I'm gonna make his belt like red. And then do some pink on it. This looks a little different. And then, um, ants, huh? Blue. Like he's got blue jeans on. That'll work. But it does need a little bit of shading, so it's actually going to be just oaken pants. Okay, um, and then he needs his spiked, um, weapon. Weapon lines. All right. I'm going to make that black, actually, because I can always pull the color back up later, which I definitely will do. So weapon color. OK, so he's red all over, but he has this pink accessory thing going on. So I'm going to do that for the, for the weapon. And then select my other, uh, 25, 50. And then the rest of it. Oh, darn it. I'm a long liner. Try this again. Okay. Minus sixty. Good. And then the uh, straight red. And then this side will be straight pink. And then the top will, I guess, more straight pink. Uh, but I'm going to do it on the right layer. Damn.
so and then I'm gonna fill it pink but I'm gonna paint okay uh that's good all right um I think his face and everything stands out enough, and I want it to look nice and hairy, so. I do want to recycle this off. Uh, because I did use some pretty strong reds in his hair. All right. Uh, now I need to figure out what I'm doing with background color. Uh, no. Now I need to figure out what I'm doing with his face. Because his face is still clear. Teeth, 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 teeth. And I have no idea what his real eye colors are, so I'm making them green. Maybe with a little bit of yellow. And I might have to change that later, but that's fine. Okay, um, poker rings. There we go. All right. Outer ring color. Purple. Purple's always good. Hmm. Let me try purple. I can always change it. I could use a gradient in a while. make the armor lines dark for them later. And then the background color. I could use green. I could use green through yellow. That would be bright and terrible. And I'm a big fan of bright and terrible, really. Um, how about this way? No. But this way. How about if I make it more, and then it kind of blends with the armor, but remember I'm going to try and make the armor metal later, so I think that's actually good. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. No, I don't like it. I want it just green. Uh, and then um, the armor later will be kind of silvery. I'll buckle. Um, I do need a gradient on this outer ring, however. And because it's 
think on that side, I don't want to change it too much there. Okay, that helps it differentiate from the orange. Um, that green's pretty plain. I think I'll make it bricks. How about bricks? There's my bricks. I love my bricks. Okay. Bricks! Okay, and I want to get just there. Now, I could leave these here as just like a color. Hey, what happened there? No, no, no. Why did it do that? I'll fix it. There's my bricks. Select inverse. Delete. Oh, deselect. Okay. Okay. Few extras. I'm gonna see which direction looks. That makes it yellow. That makes it blue. Mm. This. And then change this to more of a really buns with the armor, but it looks better. So I'm definitely going to have to change this armor later. Um, at least for now. I'm going to handle that by making it more. You know I'd prefer it to be a bright color or silver, but I can't get silver right now. This will do. Um, and then I'm going to do... And I, I get I can brush stroke these suckers because Lord knows I love my brush strokes. Okay, select brush strokes inverse and then wait and then view X Oh, I see. Um, I'll, I'm gonna fix that later. Um, all right, and then body. And the weapon. And then this background color got a shift that it's not quite completely the same color. And maybe I'll change the weapon too. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. 
Well, I'll try to do line colors, even though I still don't know what color my armor is going to be. Um, armor line colors. I'm going to use cyan. Again, not knowing what color it will really be. Enough for the stream. Hmm. Well, it's okay for now. And then, um, the spikes. I'm actually going to give them except smaller. Hmm. I don't want to do it too much or it'll blend into the background. And then the Weapon lines, weapon line color. I want to use red for him, which means I should use purple for the. It does make it blend into the background a little. Hmm. Green. Darker red. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Still kind of blends. Maybe I'll leave it black. And then just change. Oh, well, I'm still going to have to. Still going to have to do it a little. Because the token edges. But. All right. Um, and his body line fur lines. That's obviously got to be red fur line colors. And I'm going to do some detailed make his nose not and his mouth conveniently already isn't because I planned ahead for that. So, um, And now, and let's see. So, all right. And now I just need a token edge color, which I'm going to make blue. So, 
token or ring uh line ring line colors hide if you consistent and then i'm going to do this especially where the weapon is so that the weapon stands out and down here by his Oh, interesting. And his arm color is sticking out over here. See how it like overlaps? Okay. I still want to fix that metal so that it's more gratuitously silvery. Let me try greening. Yeah. I mean, I really want to use my metal filter, but that will do if it has to do. Uh, so here's my Matt Colville bug bugbear. I think it turned out looking like him with the crazy eyes because every time every once in a while he does that i like it uh so let's see okay what time is it all right i don't think i can do another one i can't do the fire elemental but uh here's my matt colville so there's we've got i'll keep working on the metal offline uh and it should work out but we'll see hey wait a minute wait 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 Hold the phone. Where's my ring line colors? Oh, it got hidden. It got hidden when I did the crop. Okay, now they're back. Notice how now there's blue next to the weapon and down on the other corner. That is why I like the ring line color. Okay, now it's done. So, okay, I feel better. It's not really done because I'm still gonna go in and do the metal. And I'm going to go back into the Oni and change those colors for Angry GM, but you get the idea. So, uh, wise Papa Grant, I hope you're happy with this fella. And uh, uh, that's it for the stream tonight. So thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.